Hey folks, if you're a developer looking to monetize your coding skills and make some extra cash on the side without losing focus on your main job, then you're in luck because in this video, I'm going to be talking about six side hustles that you can get started with in 2024 that'll help you level up your coding skills and earn some extra cash on the side as well. So let's not waste any more time and jump right into it. So the first side hustle I want to talk about is the bug bounty. A bug bounty is a program that developers sign up for and get paid when they identify and fix a bug within that company's code base. So these bugs could be critical bugs that pose a security threat or just smaller bugs that impact their application in a certain way. But basically once you find these bugs and report it back to the company, they pay you a certain amount for your contribution. And from what I've seen, companies pay anywhere from between $100 to even over $10,000 for a single bug bounty. So if you're interested in signing up for a bug bounty program, then consider checking out websites like HackerOne, BugCrowd or even Microsoft's bug bounty program. The second side hustle that I want to talk about is online mentoring. Now, if you're someone who's reasonably confident with your programming skills and also like teaching and helping people as well, then you might want to consider signing up for an online mentorship program. Websites like Code Mentor and Superprof offer a platform for connecting mentors with students who are in need of your programming skills. So when you sign up for these websites, you'll usually have to list all the skills that you can offer mentorship in and select an hourly rate as well. And every time a student books a session with you, you'll normally have to hop on a call and help them with whatever problem they're having. But if you don't actually want to have any face-to-face -face interaction with students, you could get a bit more creative and use websites like Fiverr or Upwork to basically help students out with their assignments. All they send you is their assignment and all you send back is a solution to the problem they're facing within that assignment. So how much can you actually earn from online mentoring? Now again, the rate really depends on what you choose, but, but from what I've seen, online mentors typically charge between $15 to $30 for a 15-minute session. The third side hustle that I'd like to talk about is freelancing. Freelancing is a side hustle that allows you to charge people money for a specific task. So if you're a game developer, you charge people money for converting their ideas into an actual working game. Or if you're a web developer, you charge people money for building websites. The great thing about freelancing is that it's extremely versatile and your earning potential is basically unlimited because you charge people for the complexity of the project that you actually take on. It's not uncommon to see freelancers charge anywhere between $50 to even over $10,000 for a single project. If you're interested in becoming a freelancer, then you should check out websites like Fiverr or Upwork because they basically provide a marketplace to connect freelancers with paying customers. The fourth side hustle that I want to talk about is selling code on specific marketplaces. So this side hustle involves building and selling code on marketplaces that are hosted by websites like Shopify or Trello. To give you a more concrete example of how this works, Shopify is a platform that allows anyone to set up an online business in minutes. And through this online store, business owners can sell products products to people all across the globe. You as a developer can then build teams or add-ons or apps for these online stores and list them on the Shopify marketplace. And every time any of these businesses decide to purchase your application or integrate it into their store, Shopify pays you a certain cut. The benefit of selling code on a marketplace is that your income is basically infinite as well and it's recurring. And it's not uncommon to see people earn anywhere between a thousand to over ten thousand dollars a month doing this. So the fifth side hustle that I like to talk about about is building and setting up a micro SaaS application. A micro SaaS application is a tiny subscription-based application that's usually built and maintained by either a solo developer or a very small team of developers. And this side hustle is the closest thing to passive income for software engineers. To build a micro SaaS application, you normally need to identify a problem that a certain group of people are facing and then build a product for that group and sell it to them. To give you a more concrete example, Hype Fury is a micro SaaS application that allows people to create and schedule Twitter posts. And around three years ago, the founder posted on Reddit that they were able to scale their business to earn about $20,000 in revenue every single month. If you're someone who's been able to identify a problem within a certain niche, then maybe you should consider building a micro SaaS application. The next side hustle I want to talk about is building an online presence of some sort. In 2024, having an online presence is easier than ever. With platforms like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, or even blogging websites like Medium, 
You can basically create content in any shape or form that you desire. And generally, when you consistently upload good quality content for a long enough period of time, you start to build a following of some sort. And that's when you can start using your following to earn some extra money on the side, through basically an infinite number of income earning opportunities. To give you a more concrete example, an affiliate link is a link to a product that you as a creator endorse. You typically show this link to your audience and anytime they purchase this product through your affiliate link, you'd earn a small cut of the profits of the product. And there are creators out there earning millions of dollars every single year just through having affiliate links on their posts. If you have something to share with the world, then you should really consider setting up an online presence and growing it over time. Now, if you're someone who's planning on starting a side hustle anytime soon, then you probably need to keep honing your software development skills every single day. And what better way to do that than to use these six websites that were absolute game changers for my coding journey. 